Asafat al says he was displaced for Maikadra, Western Tigray, right after the outbreak of the war in 2020, when the Allied forces began massacring people indiscriminately after he witnessed what he called the gruesome atrocities he left Maikadra to Mira in Abargala district to save his life. But he says despite his escape from the atrocities, he couldn't escape his fears as he was followed by another horrific scene of violence. <laughs> يوم جمرية سراويت ذي لي هاي المحارة ويد ما فان بهال شفتا إلو ورنا. At first, Fano came and invaded us. They took everything, our clothes and properties. We survived, but most of our people died there. They were left unburied. Those of us who escaped the massacre first settled in Mira in the district of Abergala. But the Amhara Fano and special forces followed us. They selectively killed ethnic Tigrayans. We were displaced three times from Maikadra to Mira in Abergala and now to Finarwa. Safa says despite his three times displacement, he still couldn't escape the brutal atrocities of the Eritrean forces as he witnessed the atrocities once again. He adds that IDPs are still suffering due to lack of enough attention in sufficient aid they badly demand. <laughs> The Eritrean forces committed heinous crimes and looted properties. They killed many people. We are receiving little aid. We are in a severe problem. There is a huge problem due to its distant nature from the urban areas and its extreme heat. Many elderly and orphans who lost their families on their way to this are displaced here. There is a problem. The residents of Inawa in Samara district say the Eritrean forces burned their grains and turned their properties useless and are now in hunger these days. After the Eritrean forces came, they committed inhuman acts. They mistreated us. They spoiled the foods prepared to be eaten. They thrown it away. Many of us were suffering from hunger while they were making it out of use. We faced unspeakable problems. <laughs> The Eritrean forces took our farming materials. We were left idle. We could not blow. They made us starve. Countless goats were taken. A single farmer has lost more than 100 goats. Every farmer has lost 20 up to 13 goats. We were not even able to turn lights on during the night time. They were spoiling eggs. They skinned hens. They killed civilian people. Twelve elders were mercilessly killed and burned mixed up. Many others were killed.